In a way, you could say that I'm a product of migration. My grandparents moved from India to East Africa. My parents were born there. I was born in London, but I grew up in Kenya. And then I moved to Germany. I think these questions of moving and identity and kind of negotiating different worlds have always been in my work. And so I feel, in a way, really grateful to have been here at this moment in time and to have had to grapple with topics that to me seem to be settled somehow in my own biography and in my own understanding of the world. Woher kommst du? Eine trügerisch einfache Frage, die viele einschließt, vor allem. Wer bist du? Warum bist du hier? Wie bist du herangekommen? Allerdings, wie die Standardfrage, woher kommst du, oft für bare Münze genommen und mit geografischen Angaben beantwortet. Doch Herkunft ist nie einfach eine Frage der Geografie. Ganz im Gegenteil. Herkunft fließt über die Rände aller vorhandenen Karten hinaus. I remember when I first started living in Berlin about 14 years ago. It felt like a city in flux. It's always felt like it's not quite settled. It doesn't really know who it is. It's still becoming. And that was really nice because in a way I, I, I wasn't quite settled. I think many of us aren't. It's nice to be in a place where you feel as though you have this room to maneuver and to, 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 you don't have to conform necessarily to something. And in those first years that I was here, I mean, I was writing uh, for the first three, four years, I wasn't a published writer. and. It was a kind of wonderful existence because I, I was writing, which I always wanted to do, but I didn't know anybody in the city. My husband had also just moved here, so he didn't know anyone. So it was a very sort of solitary existence. And I remember that I just really craved this time when I would be able to talk to fellow writers and be part of a broader discourse. If I think about places in Berlin that are the most important for me in the sense that they connect me most deeply to the city, then the International Literature Festival Berlin has to be one of those places. I had the great luck of sort of hitting it off with Ulrich Schreiber, the director of the festival. And um, the very first time I took part, I suggested to him that I wanted to do an event to mark International Peace Day. And it was kind of related to my second novel, which I was presenting um, at the festival, The Obscure Logic of the Heart, where I, part of the, one of the themes of the book is the um, illegal arms trade. And so um, I said to Ulrich, maybe we could do something for International Peace Day. And he, one of the things about Ulrich Schaub is that he's very enthusiastic and very supportive. So he immediately said to me, well, you organize it, you can use the festival facilities. And so there I was with this sort of uh, possibility to arrange some sort of um, event. And it was kind of in that um, space and sort of along, uh, out of that conversation that I decided to establish Authors for Peace because I thought, well, I, as a writer on my own, um, who's not so well established, I don't really have any authority in the world. Um, how can I how can I make a difference and, and make what I say matters? And I thought one way is by saying it with other people to really kind of amplify the message. And so the idea was to invite a lot of other writers to contribute to a message for Peace Day. And it was an amazing adrenaline rush um, to, you know, to, to do the whole thing. But um, it was also kind of my first taste of being political in a public way. And um, yes, yeah, since then I collaborated with the festival on different kinds of projects. And for me, that was like the first step of starting to feel rooted here. Um, but then I feel like there are other communities that really hold me to the city. And one of them is this group of women that I'm part of. It's a sort of women's circle and network, if you like. Um, and funnily enough, that too is connected to the Literature Festival because um, one of the founders saw me at the Literature Festival. And that's been really amazing to be part of a community that meets regularly and, and thinks politically. But it become especially important for me, I think, in the last two or three years because after 2015 and the kind of arrival of 
lots of refugees in Germany, we suddenly felt as though, you know, here we are debating these issues of equality in society, and there's another really big change happening in our world. And we decided to try and establish um, an initiative. And partly because th there were many really great things happening, we realized, like lots of grassroots initiatives, um, lots of people kind of going out to embrace, you know, the arrivals and wanting to work with them to shape um, how we live. And so um, in that kind of spirit and wanting to amplify that energy, um, we established this uh, campaign called Wir machen das, we are, we're doing it, uh, and it was kind of a play on Angela Merkel's statement, Wir schaffen das, which is that we'll manage this, a very kind of pragmatic, and, and we sort of thought, no, we don't need to manage it, because actually loads of people are, already are, they're doing it, and there are loads of them. So for the last two years, almost, um, I've been really engaged with that, and yeah, just sort of working with refugees who've arrived and these women to try and um, reshape our society and to look at migration as something that's a real opportunity for all of us. Um, because I think if there's one thing that Wir machen das stands for, it's that Germany has always been uh, an immigration society. One of the certainties of our aid is that there will be more migration and that the only way to really face up to this constructively is to, is to realize that it's a great chance for all of us and we just have to approach it right. Um, and many people are already really actively doing that. My sense of belonging here comes from being part of different communities of people, from the literature festival to my uh, women's circle, um, to the magazines I can publish and write for, like um, Lettre. I've chosen Lettre as one of the places that is really important for me because I feel so lucky to be published in such an ambitious and exciting magazine. And for me, it was a really great moment when, when uh, Frank said to me, um, you know, your writing is always welcome at Lettre. I mean, for a writer, that's such an affirmation yeah. because you just want to feel like you can write yeah. and people will be able to read it. Lettre is a kind of imaginary community, all these writers, you know, from writing in different languages, coming from completely different points of view, different styles, but that in this magazine, we all find a kind of unity, a kind of space, uh, mm. a moment of sharing a conversation. And I think even in this space, that was why another reason I wanted to come here because I loved it the minute I walked into here. I just felt like this is a place where words really matter. One thing that does make me sad is that over the years I've become quite disconnected from the UK and the literary life there. It's quite strange to write in English somewhere and to feel like all your most fruitful connections and your peers are German-based and German institutions and German cultural um, people. Of course it's wonderful that I have this and all, what you really want as a writer is the possibility to be part of a kind of circle where your work is valued but at the same time I regret that all my essays that are published in German over the last years translated that none of them have been published in the UK and that's very strange to write in one language but not be read in it to be read much more in, a, in the language you're translated into. Yeah, it's a city that's given me a lot and a city that I've been allowed to give back to because I think that's part of what makes you feel but like you can belong to, the fact that you can contribute. Belonging. Yeah. I can imagine staying in Berlin. I think especially now with the Brexit, I feel a new sort of attachment to Berlin. I mean, Germany is definitely the place where I learned my European identity and that has become very precious. Also because I feel as though within this kind of big umbrella of European, all the different parts of me, they can sort of coexist more easily. And now I consider maybe having to get German citizenship because the British citizenship is gonna be of any value in Europe. Yeah, this question of where do you belong and it, it, it's suddenly more pressing in a way. So I think all these different engagements have made me feel I belong here. And I think that's such a beautiful idea that belonging is not rooted to nationality or to borders um, or to family, but that it has this other 
possibility and these other constellations that can form and reform. And I think the more you are allowed to participate and the more you can contribute, the more you feel you belong.